contrary to the, the custom and the expectations. Jesus did not admon ad, excuse me, admonish, admonish his own brothers uh, to care for their mother. Whatever the reason for not putting for not putting Mary in the care of her own son, the new relationship between Mary and John illustrates for us the provision made for us in the body of Christ. You know, I just thank the Lord for the body that He is giving us. You know, this body that we have before us right now, and uh, it's it was evident then, and it's evident now that. Uh, when they when they switched, you know, relationships. When the, when Mary got a new son and his disciple got a new mother, it was God's, you know, way of saying, This is what I have for you. So when you end your evening, look around and, and see the body of Christ. Look at each other and realize the gift that God gave on the cross is still being given. there it reads, they also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Um, by saying he was thirsty, he prompted the Roman guards to give him vinegar, which was customary at a crucifixion, thereby fulfilling the prophecy. Uh, another in instance of prophecy about him in the Old Testament is in Isaiah. It's uh, in the 52nd and 53rd chapters. And uh, I'm going to begin in verse 13 and just kind of read a few of the verses going in, in 52 and read in 53. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and stolen and be very high. Just as many were astonished at you, so his visage was marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. Before the crucifixion, as you all know, he was he went through a trial, um, and basically a kangaroo court where they you know, accused him of things that, of course, he had not done. Um, and after going through the trial in the Sanhedrin, he was brought before Pilate. And, uh, of course, Pilate tried to palm it off and, and not have 